Steamworks Consultancy presents plate tectonic model. Here are the materials to use in your classroom. A glass baking tray, um, oil, cans, cups with tea lights and matches, and the different kinds of plates, sponge, balsa wood, um, foam board. Here's the setup. You put the tray on the cans or some other prop that's all equal height. Then you add the oil. And it, in this case, I, I used a quart of oil and I'll show you the depth. And I think I should have left it at that. I should, and I added more and I shouldn't have done that because it takes too much time to heat that extra depth of oil. So here's the extra oil. You see the tea lights on the cups ready to go, but I wouldn't do that. Just keep it a thin layer, enough to float. Okay, and this is, I put tarragon in as flakes to be able to see better, but oregano would be better. The tarragon is too big. So here's the balsa wood plates and the tea lights ready to go to slide underneath there. And so here is our divergent boundary. And I didn't fuss with this. You can see the flakes moving around in there and you can also see the plates moving apart. It takes a while to heat the oil up. So you can start this before class starts and that will help to get it going right away. But it's an, it's an excellent demonstration. Here's, this, here's a side view of the oil and you can see some of the flakes moving around in there. Not as many as I was hoping, but it's a good thing for kids to observe. Here's a convergent boundary with balsa wood. I put both candles on one side and put the balsa wood separated to get them to come together. Now I measured it and since the balsa wood was out of line, I gave it a little push up to get it more into the current. Once I did that, you can see that it starts, but I won't, I won't subject you to geological motion. So I thought I'd speed this up a little bit. There you go. <laughs> but it does work. It works really well. Okay. And then this is using foam board, which I thought was really great. And I highly recommend foam board. It's excellent. And this is a sponge and the sponge absorbs the balsa wood. I mean, I'm sorry, the oil. So you might be able to get a subduction zone, but it does get dense, more dense as it moves around. Okay, and then this is transform and it doesn't work quite as well. You'd have to set it up with bigger plates and more candles, I think. Thank you for observing my video.